Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. In this video, I'm going to go through all my best and worst purchases of 2023 so that you don't make the same mistakes as I did last year with my worst purchases and maybe you can be inspired by one of my best ones. So we'll start this video on a positive note. One of the best purchases of 2023 was my Gucci bamboo bag. I bought this in November and guys, ever since I have absolutely adored this bag. So I have only just had over a month with this bag, but every time I get this bag out of my wardrobe and I'm wearing it, I absolutely love it. It brings me so much joy. I think this is the most beautiful handbag ever from Gucci. I'm so glad I went for the bag in this brown color because I think it complements so well with the bamboo handle and the fact that this bag is not logo heavy um, or doesn't have lettering on it I think really makes it a timeless piece that I will love for many years to come. I've actually set myself a new rule that I'm not going to buy anything that has lettering on it so for example I really adore the saddle bag from Dior but the fact that it has the CD on it I just know that over time I will get bored of that and it is one of the more pricier bags from Gucci but I think it's so timeless and it's definitely worth it. So one of my worst purchases and worse is a strong word so I'm not going to use worst purchases for all items in this video but these pair of shoes are definitely on the worst list because guys they hurt my feet so much. There are these pointy ballet flats from Ralph Lauren. I absolutely love the colour of these ballet flats. It goes so nicely with my Gucci bamboo and that was the idea behind it. I just wanted a really classic sort of you know brown leather shoe that was going to go with my bag in summer and autumn but guys these are so painful. I've only worn them once and they were a little bit tight on my toes to begin with even though I have quite narrow feet but guys these are so painful I literally had blisters at the end of the day flat shoes are meant to be you know comfortable enough to walk in but I don't know what it is about Ralph Lauren shoes they're always so narrow I also have a pair of knee-high boots from them and I they're beautiful okay they're really well made and they look stunning but again the toe part of the shoe is so narrow and considering I have narrow feet it shouldn't be a problem but yeah I'm gonna try and get these stretched they're so classic they have a little uh, Ralph Lauren logo at the back but it's very minimal you can't really see it so I don't mind it um, but yes it's a real shame because I think these are really lovely shoes and I did size up in these but still it's really narrow if I had gone any bigger they would have been far too wide for my feet so yes it's a real shame because they look so beautiful when I wear them with this bag but yeah they're just a real pain for my feet another one of my great purchases this year has to be the iPad Pro I did purchase the pen with it as well which you obviously have to pay for separately but this has made my life so much easier because now that I make videos for YouTube as well editing them on the iPad then on the laptop is so much easier for me I used to also always edit my reels on my iPhone using the LumaFusion app but now that I have the bigger screen I edit them on my iPad and again it makes it a much easier process and I actually really enjoy editing videos on the iPad so yeah this was another great purchase that's made my life a lot easier and more productive. So another not so great purchase of last year was this Burberry bag. So going back to the rule I set myself of not purchasing designer items with logos that had lettering in them. I don't think this logo is that much of a big issue. I think the bigger issue is the colour. I'm just not a colourful person anymore unfortunately and every time I try to wear this bag I always tend to reach for my other more neutral bags and I even thought that I would wear this bag a little bit more around Christmas you know because of the colour but even then I haven't reached for it. I actually wore this bag a little bit more in the summer because I have some dresses with a little bit of red in them and it goes so well with those dresses. I think what I need to do is buy some dark red flats so that I can get even more use out of this bag in the summer but I really love it and I can't imagine getting rid of it. Like I said I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and it is a beautiful classic colour so it's not really going to go out of fashion and I do really love it and the price I paid for it was really amazing as I bought it from Bista Village. So yeah I love this bag but 
the fact that I haven't got a lot of use out of it makes it not a great purchase of last year. So another great purchase of last year are my AirPods Pro. So I used to have the Galaxy Buds, but last year I upgraded my headphones to the AirPods Pro. And guys, I'm so glad that I didn't go for the AirPods Max because the amount of use that I get out of these, I think is far more than I would have ever got with AirPods Max. I don't go to the gym and I've only flown about three times last year. So I don't think I would have got my wear out of them. I'm not someone who's going to sit there with like these massive headphones on if I'm doing things around the house. These are so practical. I literally use them every single day, even when I'm doing things around the house. So when it comes to practicality, I'm so glad I went for these instead of the bigger ones. I would definitely like to purchase them one day because the noise cancellation on the AirPods Max is absolutely amazing, but it's actually really good on these as well. So yes, if you're sort of umming and ahhing between the two, I think definitely get these for more practicality. Um, I recently used them on my trip to Japan and on the flight, the noise cancellation was absolutely amazing. I think these are definitely better headphones if you're thinking more practicality wise. Even if you're out doing your grocery shopping or like just out for a walk, I feel like these are so much better and I don't think I would have used the bigger ones as much. So I'm really glad that Ashish talked me out of buying AirPods Max and he got me these instead. So I don't actually have equal amount of bad purchases to show you because the older I get the smarter I get with my shopping and another great purchase of last year has to be these Celine sunglasses guys I can't tell you how much I have worn these I only got these in October and I have already worn them so much I feel like they're so chic they're so elegant so timeless and I just know that I'm gonna get so much more wear out of them they have this really minimal Celine branding on either side of the sunglasses which I think is just perfect size because it's not too much in your face and I think that's what makes these really chic and really timeless I actually spoke about these in the recent gift guide video that I did for Christmas so yes these were another really great purchase of last year another great discovery was this CeraVe body cream guys this moisturizer is absolutely amazing they do a lotion version of this as well for people who don't like the thickness of a cream but guys this body cream is so amazing that literally if I moisturize my full body in it today I won't need to moisturize it for the next two days the moisture literally stays in your skin even when you shower even when my heels are drying in the summer I apply this put a pair of socks on for two nights in a row and by the third night my heels are so nice and soft this pot is always on my bedside table because I moisturize before I go to bed and guys I can't recommend this enough I also think the pricing of it is absolutely amazing. This cream works really well because it has ceramides in it and ceramides are literally our building blocks for our skin barrier and it also has hyaluronic acid which is a humectant and it holds on to water so it is advised to use it on slightly damp skin. It's just going to help hold on to the moisture that's already on your skin for longer. Like I said it is quite thick but you can get a lotion version of this if you don't like really thick creams. This cream is so hydrating and moisturizing without it feeling sticky and greasy. So yeah, I couldn't recommend this enough. So another great purchase of last year is this beautiful black leather belt with this golden buckle detailing at the front. This literally looks like a Gucci belt and I nearly bought the Gucci horse bit belt until I saw this and this is from Massimo Dutti. It is real leather, which means it's going to last a very long time. The price of it is nowhere near the Gucci one. I have worn this belt so much. I think the quality of the gold buckle as well is really amazing because like I said, I've worn it so many times, but there's no tarnishing to the gold hardware at all. And I think it's really, really great quality. You literally cannot tell that it's not Gucci. It's that well made. Arquette actually do a really similar belt, but their one is slightly chunkier and I prefer this one because it's definitely more dainty. I will be the first one to purchase this belt when they bring it out in brown. So another not so great purchase of last year has to be these Adidas Samba trainers. Guys, I know they are all over the internet and everyone loves them but I can't tell you how uncomfortable they are for me. I do have flat arches and these literally have no bounds to them. They are so flat. Guys, they were flat from the day I got them and I think I just 
just made myself like them i mean i love the style i love the color but they are so uncomfortable if i was going out for the day and i was doing a lot of walking i could not wear these because by the end of the day my feet always hurt unfortunately for me these just weren't a great purchase when it comes to comfort i just have the kind of feet that need a little bit more cushion on the soles and the last two great purchases of last year has to be these two shoes these are from Celine and these are from Adidas. Guys, these Celine loafers I absolutely love. I've worn them a ton of times. I didn't need to break them into. They were comfortable from the get-go. I have worn them a lot, but because they're quite a stiff leather, they still look pretty new, apart from just a tiny bit of creasing, which is absolutely normal. But as you can see, I don't really clean them often and they still look good as new. There's no problem to the hardware. There's no problems to the stitching either. If you are thinking of buying anything from Celine, I think just go for it because you cannot fault the quality you will not be disappointed and nowadays unfortunately designer brands are lowering their quality Celine on the other hand are not and I think their pieces are so timeless and you know like I said I've worn them a ton and they don't show any signs of wear and tear the only thing about these shoes is that they don't have a great grip so that's the only fault I would give them. But apart from that, they're just beautiful, timeless loafers that I know I'll get to wear for many years to come. And then we need to talk about these Adidas Gazelles, which are completely opposite to my experience with the Sambas. They do have a much softer sole and they are literally like walking on cloud. I absolutely love this colour because I feel like it goes really well with creams and beiges which is the kind of colour palette I'm going more for these days and I can't wait to get more wear out of these in the summer. I bought these just before our trip to Japan recently and I wore them a ton in Japan when we were walking around all day every day doing more than 25,000 steps a day and I never had any issues with these. I never had to break into them at all and although the tongue on these is equally as long it's a much softer fabric which means that it just bends when it gets to the top of your foot and without causing any issues on rubbing against your skin and yeah I feel like they're so versatile they come in a bunch of different colors I don't think I need to purchase more and add to my collection right now but these are sorts of trainers that I really look forward to wearing spring summer with like a nice tea dress or you know cotton dress and I think they would look absolutely amazing so I definitely recommend the gazelles over the sambas so there we go guys those are my best and worst purchases of 2023 these are my favorite kind of videos to watch this time of year more than what I got for Christmas videos because I think that it's really useful when someone shares what they had a great experience with and what they didn't like so much and I hope that my video did the same for you so yes I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time bye